For nearly 60 years, Major League Baseball was segregated, with an unofficial but absolute ban on African Americans playing on any of its teams, until Jackie Robinson took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. Before that, he was playing baseball in the Negro Leagues, alongside many others, sidelined by the racism of the majors. Telling the story of African Americans as baseball is done best at the Negro Leagues Museum in Kansas City. And the president of that great place came to Minnesota today to target field to bring the story of diversity in baseball here. Here's Charmaine's Nero, Charmaine Nero. When it comes to celebrating diversity. I'm deeply honored that they reached out to me. Bob Kendrick yeah. knows the impact firsthand. My good friends at the Minnesota Twins invited me to come out to be part of their diversity celebration. To be here again to kind of shed light on the connection between baseball diversity, equity, and inclusion is really something that I'm very proud of. For more than a decade, he served as the president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum down in Kansas City, working tirelessly to preserve and celebrate the rich history of African American baseball. And as a steward of this story and the leader of an institution that has dedicated itself for the last 33 years to bring in the story of the Negro Leagues to life to make sure that it would not become extinct when that last Negro Leaguer left the face of this earth, and that was certainly what was at risk. To have their story serve as a tool of hope, inspiration, determination. And today he's sharing his wisdom with twin staff members in the community. Thought what better way here on our, our 12th annual diversity celebration to have Bob Kendrick, the president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, come and speak to not only our twins employees, but to the community about uh, how baseball can be a great uniter. Matt Hudson with the Twins organization says the goal is for diverse community leaders to network and have open conversations about the challenges they face. We got work to do, but we've made tremendous progress as well. As Kendrick looks to expand his museum into a cultural epicenter in Kansas City. Creating what I call a Negro Leagues campus as the gateway into historic 18th and Vine in Kansas City but also creating an international headquarters for both black baseball and social history in the process. He's one step closer thanks to the generosity of the Minnesota Twins. We've got about a $25 million project going. I just got $10,000 closer. Toward a goal to preserve the history of the past for future generations. But the beauty of baseball is that when you look on the field, you see so many ethnicities that make up a major league roster on any given day. But from a historical perspective, it was the Negro Leagues that helped make the game the global game that it is today. Charmaine Nero, Cure 11 News. Real talk there from Mr. Kendrick. The diversity celebrations last event just kicked off about 20 minutes ago. And if you haven't been to the museum in Kansas City, 18th and Vine, get down there. It's pretty amazing.